morning and welcome to the celebration of the Holy Eucharist. We start our Mass as we always do in the name of God, to His Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Today we remember the optional memorial of St. Maria Goretti. Just a brief background. St. Maria Goretti was a young girl in the 1890s. After her father's passing, St. Maria's mother had to return to work while Maria looked after her five brothers and sisters. Sadly, a malicious neighbor took advantage of the situation and little Maria was killed. St. Maria at age 11 declared she'd rather die than be abused. She was canonized in 1950 by Pope Pius XII and is one of the church's youngest saints. And so, my friends in Christ, to prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries, we pause for a moment, call to mind our many shortcomings and sinfulness and weaknesses before a God who is truly loving and merciful and always ready to welcome us back to his fold. And to show that we are truly sorry, we all say, I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord of mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. And so we pray. O God, who in the abasement of your Son have raised up a fallen world, fill your faithful with holy joy. For on those you have rescued from slavery to sin, you bestow eternal gladness. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Hosea. Israel is a luxuriant vine whose fruit matches its growth. The more abundant his fruit, the more altars he built. The more productive his land, the more sacred pillars he set up. Their heart is false. Now they pay for their guilt. God shall break down their altars and destroy their sacred pillars. If they would say, we have no king, since they do not fear the Lord, what can the king do for them? The king of Samaria shall disappear like foam upon the waters. The high places of Avon shall be destroyed, the sin of Israel. 
thorns and thistles shall overgrow their altars. Then they shall cry out to the mountains, cover us, and to the hills, fall upon us. So for yourselves justice, reap the fruit of piety. Break up for yourselves a new field, for it is time to seek the Lord till he come and rain down justice upon you. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Seek always the face of the Lord. Seek always the face of the Lord. Sing to him, sing his praise, proclaim all his wondrous deeds. Glory in his holy name. Rejoice, O hearts that seek the Lord. Seek, seek always the face of the Lord. Look to the Lord in his strength. Seek to serve him constantly. Recall the wondrous deeds that he has wrought, his portents and the judgments he has uttered. Seek always the face of the Lord. You, descendants of Abraham, his servants, son of Jacob, his chosen ones, he, the Lord, is our God. Throughout the earth, his judgments prevail. Seek always the face of the Lord. Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia. The kingdom of God is at hand. Repent and believe in the gospel. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus summoned his twelve disciples and gave them authority over unclean spirits to drive them out and to cure every disease and every illness. The names of the twelve apostles are these. First, Simon called Peter and his brother Andrew, James the son of Zebedee and his brother John. Philip and Bartholomew, Thomas and Matthew the tax collector, James the son of Alphaeus and Thaddeus, Simon the Cananean, and Judas Iscariot who betrayed Jesus. Jesus sent out these twelve after instructing them thus, Do not go into pagan territory or enter a Samaritan town. Go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. As you go, make this proclamation. The kingdom of heaven is at hand. My friends, the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. It is foolhardy to send someone who has not been properly and adequately prepared. One is bound to fail. In the same way, Jesus did not simply send his followers to continue his mission. He trained them by being with them and allowing them to see for themselves what they would be eventually doing. And when he assessed that they were ready, he missioned the twelve. Do not go into pagan territory or enter a Samaritan town. Go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. As you go, make this proclamation. The kingdom of heaven is at hand. With this message and task come the authority of such followers of our Lord over unclean spirits, to drive them out and to cure every disease and every illness. The message of Jesus essentially remains the same today, in that we are to share the good news, that is the reality that God remains present in our midst. God is truly very much concerned to show God's mercy and solidarity with our joys and sorrow and sufferings, triumphs and failures. God will accompany us no matter what. We might feel inadequate and incompetent. This in, may in turn challenge and prod us to make ourselves more familiar with our faith tradition, which invariably, invariably shows how God unceasingly reaches out to us that culminated in his sending of Jesus, his only son. However, such familiarity with the history of salvation may not be sufficient as our credibility lies in our integrity as proclaimed by word and deed. At an exemplary Christian life characterized by love then inevitably becomes the proof 
of God's reign and presence in us and in our broken and fragmented world. One may ask whether we have the same powers like that of the apostles in being able to drive away unclean spirits and healing every disease. I should say yes in that our desire in our desire to proclaim the love and mercy of God, we lift up the spirits of those who seek our help. We give them hope to move on amid their problems and setbacks in life. We may heal them of their disease of laziness, lack of self-esteem, whenever we challenge them to believe that life remains good despite its difficulties. Whereas before, Jesus specifically told the apostles to preach only to their fellow Israelites, the audience that we now eye or target is more comprehensive and universal. Jesus asks us to reach out to anyone desirous to hear the word of God and not simply to people belonging to the same, same faith tradition. And so are we up to his challenge? Our saint today, Saint Maria Goretti, continued the mission of our Lord, particularly in offering her life. And so in our Eucharist this morning, we pray for the grace to proclaim with joy and courage that indeed the reign of God is in our midst as evidenced in the good happening around us, the expulsion of unclean spirits and healing of illnesses and diseases. As God's holy people, called in different ways to spread the good news of the kingdom, we place our needs before our Father, who continues to care for us. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That those called in the church to lead the people of God may have the courage to spread the gospel of Jesus Christ to the ends of the earth, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who seek God may find enlightenment, and respond willingly to God's invitation to be with him, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That young people may recognize the voice of Christ, calling them to a life of service, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That the sick may receive comfort and strength from those who care for them, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That our beloved dead may rest in the peace of Christ's kingdom, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. We also prayer. pray for our personal and communal intentions. We pray for those celebrating their birthdays, especially Meti Jimenez, Joey Galvez, Ryan Arces, Mac Cloven Kerubin, Chapie Macrohon, Sister Linus FSP, Carlos D. Tevez, Gwen Borsena. For the healing, of Jerry Lopez, Father Pat Falguera of the Society of Jesus, Ligia Velasco, and Joel De Leon. For the repose of the souls of Mercedes Grau Santa Maria, Lucila Reyes, Pedro Lorenzo, Alberto Estelita, and Eduardo Donado, and Eduardo Bautista. And for the special intentions of Benji Santos, Pat Montinola, Aga Camarata, Connie Unson, Sharon T, Ricky and Gurley Season, Nise and Cos and Family, Wilma Manahan Gomez and Family. And for all the intentions you have sent to our Facebook pages and YouTube pages at Jesscom and Radio Katipunan, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, when you call us in the events of everyday life, let your spirit give each of us the strength to say, Lord, here I am, I come to do your will. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Mm -hmm. 
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. And so pray, my friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for a good and the good of all his holy church. May this oblation dedicated to your name purify us, O Lord, and day by day bring our conduct closer to the life of heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty in our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, His death we celebrate in love. His resurrection we confess with living faith. And His coming in glory we await with unwavering hope. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end, we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God, God of hosts, hosts heaven, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it. He gave it to his disciples saying, Take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Onesto, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servant, Tito Silverio, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that he who was united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Let's just pause for a moment and remember our other beloved departed. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints, especially Maria Goretti, who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you to your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father and the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Jesus taught us a very beautiful prayer, and now we have the courage to all say, our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. 
Thy the kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, said to your apostles, Peace I give you. My peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord Jesus Christ be with you always. And with your spirit. Let's share this peace to one another. Peace. Peace, Peace be with you. Peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. And so, my beloved friends, behold Jesus. He is the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Amen. The body and blood of Christ. Amen. Amen. And so we pray, grant we pray, O Lord, that having been replenished by such great gifts, we may gain the prize of salvation and never cease to praise you through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord is with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless all of you and those whom you deeply love, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. My friends, the Eucharist has been offered. Go in the peace and joy of Jesus Christ, serving the Lord and neighbor, especially the poor and the sick. Thanks be to God. Amen.
siya. Maglilitas ng Diyos na sa krus ni Jesus. Ang siyang sa mundo'y tumubos. Langit at lupa, siya'y papurihan. Araw at tala, siya'y parang ahalan. Ating pag-iwang pag ng Diyos sa tanan. Alleluia! At isinong sa lahat, kalina niya'y wakas, ngayong lukha at sa lahat. Pag-ibig niya sa inyo ay tapat. Kahit at sumaya, buong maya, lukso sa pagsigaw sa libutan. Sing 